Hello again, uh, this is Banner Wars, and I am Darian Spider of Call of Duty Job Cosplay with... Your tactical forecaster, Zappa. Yay! I missed the ninja. I missed the ninja intro. Oh, professional <laughs> stage ninja? ninja? Yeah. Well, I'm not professional stages right now. I'm your tactical forecaster. <laughs> so, load game. Load game. Resume? Uh, actually, resume should work, too. But load game, because you might have missed a bit. Uh, huh. Profile 4. Alright, day 3. All right. That's weird that it's sharing all of my save games on here too. Probably because awesome. it's just save games. Okay, right, chapter so. 2, right here. Cut with the keen edge sword. Ooh, a keen edge sword. Not a dull. Despite the fact that uh, your boy uses an axe. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Stay close. Where did it come from? I think it saw us. I don't think it saw you. I totally saw them. See, I saw you. Okay, so now you get to the third class of people. Archer. Ready. I'm never ready. Rook is incredibly unique because he is the only character in this game that can attack both melee and ranged. He has an axe and a bow. Alright, so actually it's good that I would mark prey on him because this breaks armor. Uh, does armor break uh, damage? Okay, so what that does is it starts off with an armor break and every character in range of your target attacks it immediately. Out of turn. For strength. So if okay. you have six people on the field surrounding one unit and he goes for Mark Prey, Everyone that can hit that unit will hit that unit. Okay, so it, 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 that that is the the murder command. But he also ha he a, a, as both me, but it has a range of one. That's what I'm trying to say. Stand okay. Right. But he, unlike most archers, has a, a a range of one attack. Okay, so it doesn't matter which. And you can't do it. I don't think you're in range. It, when it comes to archers, you will know you're oh, okay. in range. Yeah, it has a range of one. You'll know you're in range to attack because it will show you a okay. red number over the enemies that are in range. Enter. And he will move up on you. Hi. Now, if you... Uh, well, for, let, let, me, let me show you a thing. Go to move. Right. Go to move. And just highlight your movement range like you're going to move it forward. See right there? You can hit him from there. If you take one step back, from there, yes. From there, no. Now, this is a regular archer. Regular archers cannot hit at range one. Okay. But regular also archers are also really good for breaking. Since, more often, since their numbers are really low, and armor break is a static number, if you bolster their armor break, they do... That skill shoots everything in a straight line, allies included. Oh, okay. It will hit the dredge there, but I think it will also hit pops. Okay. And it's too soon for sad dad adventures. You can, also, if you hold the mouse and drag, you can you can drag the the map around so you can yeah. see better. I can break armor, which is yes. what I need to do. And she has and certain. There you go. Watch out. Take that. Yep. The hip hops. Now, since he's in range, you can mark. You could mark prey. I like marking prey. All right. He does two dips. And then. Oh, wow. It, oh. it, it works all so much better when you see everyone just kind of maul somebody. So since she, she's got a range of one. Now archers, most archers also have a special ability. Uh, highlight Alette real quick. Just just mouse over her. Uh, yeah, uh, puncture. You get, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. If uh. your archer does not move, they get a bonus to their their uh, their physical attack. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, it, yeah. It's it's the weather here. It's bringing in all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah. If they right, don't so. move, they they can do more damage, and it's basically 
the less damage or the less armor the unit has, the exponentially higher their their attack damage. So we're gonna insert. Right, That will get hit again. It's deliberately only attacking armor, so that you can get your practice. Just go for go for regular hits. You don't want to waste time marking prey, especially since that will get to kill. You don't even have to, <laughs> you have to exert. Yeah. Hunter. Yep, that is his class. Yes. The majority of characters in this game all have unique classes, and your achievements are based off get one kill with that character. Okay. Uh, there are a few uh, cases of repeating. There is one uh, spearman that's a DLC. Is that a, a track? Fire is above the you know, chest. It was. Let me see. Are you hurt? No, you hid behind me, you, you weirdo. Nope. Nope, I'm fine. That's your daughter. Gotta protect your girl. Protect your kin. Okay. Now, another decision that really actually matters. All that food. That's the last we're going to do. So, so the dredge scared your ox and the cart fell over. What do? Don't run. Let me think. Forget you, the supplies. Go back to Sorg. If we hurry, we can gather that before the no drug appears. Do you, th do you think you can handle more of them? I'm going to go with, I uh, think we can handle more of them. That will lead you into another battle. I Probably. Uh-oh. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for fear, get the supplies. We came out here for a reason. Uh-huh. And that reason is life. Okay, yes, so, yes, yes. So it's either we hurry up and gather and we'll and get maybe some of it, or we uh, gather it all up and get into another fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go evens or odds, yep. and it so happens that <laughs> this is uh, two and three is evens or odds. So yep. we, can, we, we you can figure it out. It's an even. Woo! And it's a two. Okay. So we'll hurry up and gather before more drag up here. All right. I can see them in the trees. Are you sure about this? No. We have to try. Be quick. All right. So basically, you. You're, you're going to get a hearty amount of supplies and you don't go into another fight. The other option, uh, you get zero supplies to get go because you abandoned them. Yeah. Or you get less supplies and you have to deal with another fight. 15 <coughs> supplies. Yay. But there is an unwritten uh, value in the game called danger. Uh -huh. And basically the higher your danger is the more threatening your enemies are, but also the more rewarding your battles are. Okay. So danger go up, number go up, but difficulty go up. Yes, the, this is explaining the talisman at the top. You can see how many days of, you know, supply you have. You have 18 days of supply. Yay! Minus one supply, so... Yes. And right. our morale went down. No, we have normal morale! Yes, normal means you get no bonuses or negatives to to your to your will number. Right. When you get into these cutscenes here when they're super zoomed in and you see people, your time doesn't pass because it's basically just zooming in to a location. I never expected to see the dredge with my own eyes. What happened in the north? Um, John Snow. Already we see more between the no, trees bro. as we approach our home. No, it's asking what happened in the north. Tight. John oh. Snow. <laughs> we must oh, yeah. find also Ivor. dredge. Yeah. Dredge are in the north. The super north. And then the Varro are regular north. I'm assuming we're coming here. Yes, this, this is your township. I love the artwork. Oh, yeah. I, have to, I have to stand in awe and how really well they did. For the artwork, it's very, it's very crisp and clean, yet feels like you're almost playing one of the very older. Uh, I said, I think I said last time that it's like Lord of the Rings, Hobbit type, type esque mm -hmm. artwork. Yeah, yeah, from the old anime. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really, really digging on this. Yes. Now, 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 Ivor here is unusual. 
because you're in human lands right now. Mm -hmm. There are minimal amount of varl in human lands. Ivor is your boy. Like he is Rook's boy. Like they are. Oh. They are good friendos. So not husbando. Friend, no. uh, Bondo. Friend Bondo. Friend Bondo, yes. How did they get through the Greyhorn? Is that everyone that was smart? They, oh, did you see Dredge? Holy bug. Uh oh, someone's screaming. Yep, that means it's time for battle. Yay. Gil. Gil is a good boy. Come on. All right. Okay. Again, this, this choice matters. Now, several of these, these choices super matter. All right. So what are... I wish they would just give me a little bit more information here. Uh, uh, ask for let, th let them fight or uh, go with... Okay. In, in this set, you have four player characters here and now. Uh, choice one is Egil takes Alette to somewhere safety. Choice two is you're telling Ivor, no, it's okay. These two are going to fight with us. Yeah, let's go with everybody. Okay. Four against whatever is a lot better than th two against whatever. Okay, that means that after this battle, there is another incredibly critical decision to make all immediately right, after. Let's do that. Okay. I'm all, I'm all about Let's Let's do that. Take the, the, num the, the numbers are. Oh. Aww. But she did so well. Yeah, Gil's like, nah, I got her. Now, what you can't see, and you'll see soon enough, because you can't pan down, is is Egil's shield. Gil's shield. Okay. Do you, do you notice anything in particular about it? Maybe it's color. It's gray? Yes. Everyone else's shield up to now has been two colors and wood. Oh. Oh, okay. I know what, I know what it is. Ha -ha. Well, he, he, <laughs> he has a metal shield. Which is... Wow. No. Which is nobody else has a metal shield. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's like, Edgar wants to be a big boy. Alette wants to be a big girl. They want to put their big kid pants on. Ivor... Well, if you really think about it, she she actually has range, which means mm -hmm. that she can mm -hmm. stay for the most part out of a battle, and more battles in this time period and, and later following time periods were actually won by archers. I believe uh, they were. It was considered dishonorable uh, to the English and stuff like that. But more battles were won with them than anything else, and, mm -hmm. and to this day, showing of the uh, two fi two uh, two fingers. Um, to somebody in, in Great Britain is the the uh, it's the, the uh, it's the fu you know it's the flying the bird uh, it's showing that I still have my two fingers you can't to knock this yeah, arrow yeah, hey! yeah I, can still, I can still fight you and, it's, and and in historical battle they would take those two fingers from archers yeah see I knew about the two fingers thing being you know their yeah. fu I didn't know about the knocking the arrow yeah that's, that's the, yeah, so they, they, they can't knock you you can't knock an arrow without your two fingers ye. which which is a lot you could you have plenty of other ways of but doing, but you're not as good yeah definitely so there, there's there's several uh, accounts where archers that survive large battles and started doing that to the enemy and running off yeah okay so this is just you know as you can see in the oh. foreground here dredge are on their way in you probably missed it while we were traveling, but as it panned over, those dredge were already there. Oh. So they were already on their way in. Your only option is to go to the house. Yeah. To progress the plot. So as of now, this puts Alette and Gil in yep. your battle company. Turn order. This is this is where turn again, turn your your, your order matters. Drag the icon and arrange them in their turn. Yeah, it's like if you drag the, if you drag it over someone, it swaps them. It doesn't shift them in; it swaps them. I would go this direction, and leaving archery in last. For the mo for the most part, the, this would be the. Uh, okay. So. And uh, if I do this guy first and get in close combat, these guys will will 
do the mar- uh, do the individual thing without a turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, in theory, we could get uh, pretty good ranging, and I can keep her out of battle okay. a little bit further. So, so that that be my. I have an item. Yes. Uh, first, Rook is both archer and melee, so he's fine. Rook is one of few characters that can pass through his own allies. Okay. So if you put him last or in the back row, he can still pass through allies. Okay, so uh, actually I would probably <laughs> do oh, that. It's my turn. Shit's in the air. Uh, Ivor has a sword. Egil has sword and board. Sword and board. and then, mm. Okay, yeah. No, and let's, then you've got let's, your two let's range. Put, yeah, let's put the... Uh, the heavy hitter up front, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then a uh, sword and board to basically do mid mid lead fighting, mm-hmm. and then these two will, will uh, clean up. Yeah. Because we, we talked about his metal shield, Egil is essentially a tank. Like, his okay. armor yeah. cl- class should be in high, and his skill take, lets him do just I need sit to worry there about and this right now? be a meat shield. Items are equipable items. The number you have there is not your quantity, oh. and, but rather it is your rank. Okay. And as you see, everyone's rank is one 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 one, and that is equipable by rank one. Okay. And when you highlight over it or click on it, it shows you what it does: plus one armor, plus one strength, plus one will to whomever it is equips it on. You can give it to whomever. Hmm. Um, plus one armor, strength, and will. I almost want to give it to her. Uh, for what purpose? Survivability? Yeah. It's either her or him. Mm, I would give it to Gil. Either Gil or Ivor. Because that's, that's plus one strength. That's plus okay. one damage. I would do Gil. Let's do Ivor. Uh, Gil. Okay. Uh, Gil. That, that's better. And then we're ready for battle. Yay. Battle. Onward to battle. Dun 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 Now Alright, I need your, to get her away from me. Yes, this. your your blue area is where you can position your boys. Uh, however you like. How do I uh, you will click on them? Uh-huh. And then you'll click on the space you want to move them to. So click on Alet and put her where you want to put her. Uh, let's do that. Mm. He can pass through allies, so he can be like sec, like on the second row anywhere. And then I- Ivor is fine where he is. Yeah. And then Gil, you'll want to move up because he is melee, and you can move him up one more. Uh, I would also put him right next to, uh, put him next to Ivor there, because what everybody with the shield has is a is a passive called Shield Wall. When they stand next to somebody, an ally. They kind of, you know, can put their arm out and block for someone else, and everyone around them gets a plus one to their armor check. And but if multiple people with shields, then everyone adjacent also gets another plus one. Oh, I can make a shield wall. It, That's literally. Good. That's good. Literally. That's actually a so real tactic. I love that tactic. What the game explains: if you put four guys in a square, you have a total of plus four your armor because you've got four guys in a square if you put three guys in a line you'll have three guys with a plus three because they're all right up there you see that shield icon that just popped over Mm -hmm. uh gil and uh rook it didn't pop on Ivor because even though he has a shield he doesn't have shield wall if i move up one that won't mess with the shield wall right uh no but i don't think it even applies to Ivor right now it may not uh Better that that his active skill will knock units back, and they take extra damage for every other unit that they pass through. So right now, that it would knock him back and probably out of attack range, but it's also kind of wasted. But you still knock him back, and then he's got to move forward, and maybe he can't even attack. But smashy, yes, I was good at smashy. Gil. Gil's passive is to sit there and literally be a standing wall. So I can move him right here. Yes. But you will also break the, sh- the shield wall with uh, adjacent allies. Stone wall will reduce damage for a whole turn until it's his turn again. It's just like, oh, did you do five damage? No. No, you didn't. I'm do three. Yep. Uh, 
that right. was his turn. He also, uh, because Ivor's um, passive is uh, return the favor, he doesn't have shield wall as a passive. Alright, so I have to be with one to that, so I can actually, I really need to move him up. Okay. It's right here. Alright. And now there's shield wall again. You can't mark prey because he's not adjacent, but because he has arrows. You, you can take him, or you can eliminate him. Let's eliminate him. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Renowned. Uh, Renown. Almost seven. Yes, now he has two kills. Return to favor. And there's a let. I like using archers for dealing uh, break damage as opposed to straight damage. Look. Look. But you also pass your attack through right. But it didn't show it that. It... Uh, okay. I actually don't remember because I think I did it once and it did do damage, but then I, it's 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 armor damage. It's not strength damage. But at the same time, instead of using the skill she, from right there, I think she can still also do. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I can do one. No, that that's strength damage. Well, okay, she can she can do one, but she has an. Uh, an she has a, an exertion of one, so she can bop that to two. Yeah. But she, you can also move her up, and, and nothing, nothing's going to get around your wall for a minute. Mm. It that way. It's still in range, so you can pop him as you see fit. Let's take out his armor a little bit. <laughs> He's off the corner, that means the big guy will go next. It's Ivor's turn. Reduce his damage, hurt this man. It won't kill him either, but... Let's do that and then save my will for the bigger fight that's coming. So, it's Gil's turn. Now, if you move Gil next to the big guy... Well, you have options, but I, I feel like you, if you set up for Mark Prey, which is on your next turn, Gil will get a hit in if he moves next to the big guy, and the let will hit him also. Yeah, but I can actually end this guy right here. You can. Which, and his turn will be next, but it'll just shift the next dredge over, which means it'll be that guy in the back corner that moves and does nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But... Honestly, I need him. If he's going to be part of my main group, I need him to get promotion. And this kill would actually do it. There you go. So. Thinking forward. Yeah. I don't need exert. <laughs> it's just the icon for a different raid master. Lol. So if you mark prey, only a let will hit. That's fine. Yes, because oh, his no. strength is incredibly higher than her strength right now. So you'll want to probably yeah, move her around. Run! She, she can still get a hit in. And she can do, uh, yeah, that one. Because his, his defense is higher than her offense. It's like, nope. Don't, don't feel like it. Ring, the ro ring around the rosy is what, what this is. Yeah, uh, battering ram still will knock him back, right? It, yeah, it'll knock either one of them back, but not so far that it would, you know, he can't just walk back up to you anyway. But at least it'll lock him into only being able to hit either. Actually, that's actually not a bad idea. Right. You did one armor damage, and it'll walk back up, and actually yeah. either. And take another armor damage for doing so. That's Gil's turn. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, consider that Rook is, is next. Yeah. 
So you can definitely still mark prey. Mark prey is a guaranteed hit. At least to the damp to that. So bang. All three. Yep, everybody dies. All three. All yep. So Alette doesn't have to move. She can stand there. But she'll still be deflected, so sink points. There you go. Break the armor. Break that armor! Shink. I really don't have to do anything. Really you, it, it all still works. Because everyone needs two kills to get to their first rank. And Gil only has one. But the weird thing is, I don't know exactly how it's calculated when everybody gets a hit in on on like a mark on a mark prey. Like who gets the kill? Who gets that number? Let's see. Yeah. Ah, you got that point. All right. Yay. So technically, the only one that didn't get anything is her. That's fine. There will be plenty of... Okay. Because, like I said, it, when an archer doesn't move, they get a yeah. huge bonus to anything that's taken a lot right. of... Like, promotion. Uh, taken a, a lot of promotion. armor damage. Yep. Yay. So do you like Gil? Maybe. Okay. I go. No, he, he, call him Gil. It's okay. Yes, com combat can be rude. At any point, you can change the difficulty. The only thing that locks you out of is achievements. Ah. And you're not like me. I don't think you care. Black <laughs> Hole. enough. So, this is retreat or fight some more. Keep watch. Keep watch. Sounds good. This is very important. Um, my initial reaction is to run at it. Do you like Gil? This, this, imagine this is this is one of the big guys that was in that last fight. This is your one of your four square dredge, raising its mace to crush down on Alette's head. Um. That's all my initial reaction to run at it, but shooting it with an arrow. Do you like Gil? Yes. Shoot it. Uh, I don't want to lose her, though. Shoot it. survives for now I actually completely forgot that that whole sequence happens it's okay no no that's a, for the most part it's like you either confront it or he's like shoot, shooting it was always going to be a, a, a high priority on my, my so mind so that any literally any other option gets Gil killed immediately oh no he gets his head bashed in through his shield. Can I get my shield? Can I get his shield then? No. Uh, you damn. Get nothing. <laughs> damn. Oh. The other option just goes straight to this dialogue here. 
I, do you want to look out or move back to the houses? I was out of practice fighting these drones. He's been peaceful and just training guys. So like, here, here, here's how you fight a slave. Like, yeah, I used to be in the Great War. I used to fight Dredge. The Dredge will come. They don't give a fuck. Done his he's done his work. Hey, don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Aww. He he's he's tired. Uh, so heroes will go into your, your menu to check out market. Uh, you can go ahead and click on click on it. Market will bring you literally to the market. Yay, supplies. Supplies. Total supply. Uh, total. That, that's how much you can buy from the shop. Uh, you have 17 days worth of supplies, which will change the more people. The more mm -hmm. people that are in your caravan, the more supplies per day it costs. So that number will immediately jump down. Uh, also, all of your things over here cost supplies. The only thing here that's that item there, and then your next one over, that item there, those are incredibly good for archers, especially when their mm -hmm. first turns are always going to be break armor, break armor, break armor. That's plus one free break without exertion. It's like, oh, mm. you get plus two, and your natural is two? That's, that's four immediately. And then your exertion stacks on that. And I'm assuming a really nice one, but I can't equip that until I get a level 3, right? Yes. Uh, I don't know how well that works. I mean, I actually don't know how that works, but I think if you if someone drops, they'll get back up with one strength, which on your present characters, it's not that great. Uh, so this actually is a really good one because I can actually immediately... Uh, That's right. Put it on my uh, my. Put it on anyone, and the other one is also good, because you have two boys waiting promotion. One of them is yeah, an archer. One of them is an archer, or hunter. Yeah, but he's he still has he has arrowed. That's fine, and you can only ever get one of a kind on anything. And mm -hmm. I would stop there. Yeah. Uh, supplies, if you. You don't need to buy supplies here. You don't need to. You can, but you don't need to. Okay. And also, every town that you go through will have different exchange rates. Okay. One renown will get you three supplies, but that doesn't mean three supplies equals three days. Yeah. Okay. So, let me go to heroes. Yes. Because, yeah, I was okay. telling you about yeah. items. Alright, so. So, right now. You get a promotion. So. Promotions! Higher stats. Yep. There you go. Now, uh, Rooks, uh, Mark Prey immediately runs from his break skill. You mean this thing? Yes. So. So if you're going to be using Mark Prey a lot, that's going to be your first level is to max that out. Because one more kill and he'll be able to rank up again and that's two more skill points. I will also give you fair warning. Mm -hmm. Even the max rank in this game is rank five. Okay. It will not allot you enough skill points to max out everybody's stats. One stat will be short by a couple of points. Okay. Or if, if you were to max out everything here and now, uh, your will and your armor would not reach peak. All right, so... His ability is to stand there and be a meat shield if he can't hit anything. Or just to literally stand there and be a meat shield. There you go. That works. Ivor needs one more kill. Olet has gotten zero kills. 
I will tell you, there's also another achievement tied directly, there's an achievement tied directly to Gil and one tied directly to Alette. Um, the one for Alette is to not have her kill any human opponent. Hmm. She can break damage and she can harm them. Well, actually, I don't, she can break their armor. I wouldn't have her, like, do any physical damage. And that's progress the story right there. Great Hall. Great Hall. I want to find the okay hall. Uh, the mediocre hall? Yeah. Well, it's about to be a flat hall here in a few minutes. The dredge are ransacking houses. Hmm. hmm. They're not just coming for, to kill. They're ransacking. They're taking supplies. And yachts. Hello, Oddleaf. She has an arrow. She's, what do you think she can do? Um, she can join your party. He asked you for your opinion. What would you do? This decision matters. Ivor says, get the fuck out. Option number two. Be indecisive. Maybe somebody else makes a call. Option number three, stay and do something. Um, I would, honestly, it's stay and do something. That's the sad part. Okay. Stay and do something. I think we can hold out. All right. I have, I have a faith in me. I just bought some new stuff. I bought some new swag. Yeah, yeah. But... He thinks I was right. We need to get the fuck out. We go west. Go west. Take, pack up the town and go west. We all leave at once. Ivor says, there. I'll stay behind and uh, fight him off. Y'all go. The chieftain says, everybody cut and run now. Option two, Ivor, bounce. Option three, destroy everything and go. Option four, what about the storehouse? What about the supplies? You're, going to, you're taking the entire town with you. That's a weird. That's a weird number four question. So when okay. it comes to some of, oh, I understand you got a point. But when it comes to some of these options, not some options will just unlock more dialogue and not progress the dialogue tree. So it's like if you like that last one is literally asking a question. Right. It will not progress. That's not making a decision. That's asking a question. You so, were gonna say. So. Uh, it's very interesting that it's like, okay, it sounds like suicide, Ivor, let's do a, do as the Chieftain says, which is to cut tail and run uh -huh. uh, as a group, uh, or go with what I, Ivor said and just let him stand stand at the last end and maybe survive. Um, having dot, fought these before, he might have a fighting chance. Very much so. Uh, 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 the, the third option is basically a distraction itself. Just burn everything down and leave. Mm -hmm. um, but what of supplies? But what about the supplies? Because they're going out to supplies, which is, which is uh, kind of got me in this whole. You know, they're they're mm -hmm. it got them, and it's getting me kind of weird that apparently these guys don't generally do that. No, oh, why? Especially since they're made of rock. Yeah, why are they? So that what makes about me more. The supplies? What is? This actually unlocks a completely new dialogue option. If we have to, we abandon. Uh, we take what we can and go. We take what you brought and go, which is 17 days for two people. Oh, Jesus. Like, you could. Exactly. That's cutting it close. But if we have all that shit, we slow down. That actually isn't a factor at all in this game. But if we starve, what does it matter? Iris says, no, I will fight still. Okay. So. All right, so that just. 
We, okay. we, we recycle our options. What's the new option? We can't afford to leave the food behind. So this will definitely get us into a fight. Uh-huh. The second one. Ivor knows what he's doing, but I will fight too. That's also a battle. Yeah, but this is a two-man battle against how many? It'll be a four-man battle. Oh, uh, four-man. Yeah, it, it'll be your squad. And the last one is f Bugger Out. Uh, I'm actually leaning towards number two. But supplies. Three, two or three both lead to battle. Yeah. I'm not doing one. That's... Yeah. Three will get you supplies. Yeah, we can't, we can't, yeah, okay. Die fighting or starve, run, starve running. Oddleaf joins the battle. Oddleaf taught Alette how to fire a bow. She knows what she's doing. Let me tell you, she knows what she's doing. All right, so it's a five-man team now. Yes. Yay. So, and start piling shit into the carts. Go, 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 go. Move, move, move. Dredge just started grabbing it to Yannis. People freak the fuck out and don't know how to react. Prepare for the fight. Yes. So there you go. Oddleaf has already slotted it. Right. Oddleaf is an archer. Her special skill is to set arrow traps. She, you pick a point in her range, and if an enemy steps on that point, they stop. They're done. Their turn is over. Which, depending on how well you do that, you can, that's when you can start baiting people into motion. Um, in my opinion, and you can do as you like, is I like to have archers at both ends of the initiative. Yes, yeah, but particularly yeah, about Oddleaf the... goes real early. You have someone in the front line to take out your closest enemy, and then your archer or Oddleaf goes yeah, next yeah. as a trap. I was literally thinking about moving her to here. Yeah. And then just moving these yeah, two back so down. So you'll you'll have to yeah. swap Oddleaf over one by one by one. Yeah, there you go. Because I, I really want to keep him in. Yeah. Well, you don't want to take him out either. Uh, keep him out in, in keep front. Keep him in front, yeah. But I was like, either it's, yeah, no, no. I was thinking the same thing. All right. And Rook, Rook is still per, remains to be the only person that can pass through his own his own people. Okay. Uh, there's later, I don't know if you ever get it in this game, but you can also pass through poison enemies. Huh. But I don't think poison is a factor in this game. Okay, so you start surrounding the enemy, which is very unusual. Kind of a waste, also. So we're gonna. Right. would bring oddly fin closer. Yeah, I would too. Especially since you know you can bait someone into walking into a certain space. Take oh look, Ivor's out front. You know he's going to get hit. Right, so that's basically a shield wall. More or less. More or less. I think. Yep. Gil is now shield walling both Ivor and Oddleaf, but you know Ivor will move forward and hurt this man. I'll have to move all the way forward. Batting run will knock him away, and right. he will go next. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Now, you already know what your next enemy is probably going to do, and that's walk forward and hit Ivor. So, with Oddly, you can move her forward and start plinking at armor, or you can move her forward and you might need to actually move her over a couple spaces, like there, back one. 
because that's close enough to get a trap immediately in front of Ivory. It, it's, it's hard to see. Um, yeah, it's over that. That's that spot right in front of me. And as soon as someone steps in that spot, they take strength damage and their turn is over. They've been interrupted. <laughs> Bam! Forecasting. Call it. Ira takes no damage. Gil, put in work. <coughs> there you go. Only does armor damage, but it's also the enemy's only you know area of effect attack. You'll probably be deflected, but look at how much break you're getting. Well, I was trying to do the. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna get two, two break already. Yeah, you'll get two break. Uh, Odd leaf and Alet will get ahead. Of but how much? Do you want to risk them being deflected? Because his armor is presently at 14. No, no. So you, you, you run the risk of them being deflected. Yep. I think if Alette doesn't move, she should. Yeah, she'll get 3 damage on the big one. But I don't know if that's a guarantee. Yeah, that's a guaranteed hit. Because she didn't take steel. You didn't like that at all. Nope. Give him that one hit point. Mm-hmm. And Gil will be lost. Oh no, uh, I'll leave things. If you have to move her yeah, away to get that one kill, but I think it's a guaranteed hit. On the other one, because it's only got one left. You'll go right into pillage. Yay! <laughs> Sky Strike! Yeah. And you'll have to spend one to get in there. So Oddleaf has one kill, Alette has zero. Oh, no. Go oh. for the strength. Mm, yeah. Well, okay, and then go for the mark break. Because then this is very likely this that will allow Alette to get a kill point. And if not, at least Gil will get another kill point. Somebody will get a point. Promotion. Yay! Somebody got the point. Every down grows. Yep, achievement. Ah, Rook is now level, can rank three, I think? Oh, because it does one point at the end. Okay, yeah, alright. I need it. So, you can, one, save people, two, kind of meh, or three, save the supplies. This is why we were doing it, is to have more supplies, so... Mm -hmm. Prepare for battle. Another battle, yay! And no one went down, so no one has injuries. And I can't promote from here, anything. Like that? Yes, you can. Uh, click on it. There you go. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Because sometimes you'll end up with continuous battles that oh. cost seven renown. You don't have enough. 
Aww. After this battle, you will. But bear in mind that he's already ready for a promotion. You've got three that need one kill apiece. Yeah. This is interesting. If the combat isn't, the story certainly is. Okay. Uh, in the top right corner, that little banner icon will turn everybody's numbers on all the time. Yeah. Your gold number is everybody's will, and then the other numbers. ideal thing, but if I can get him out. Just because your will, you, you get more will as you get kills. That is what your horn is at the top. Trapping. Uh, those will probably move forward, but I don't know which one's moving next. Actually, you can click on the Q down there, and if you click on faces, it'll highlight whomever's next. Yeah, so the other one is going next. The one with the white stripes. So he's most likely going to walk forward. Yeah, he's, the, all they can do is hit you directly. Is that right? Yeah, it'll it'll trap that square. But if they don't stop on that, or if they don't pass through that square, there you go. Good boy, good. Guaranteed four damage. Now he's got a mountain of of break so if you break this this guy over here it should reduce his armor enough that Alec can get the kill in on just even one strength damage because that's oh so move him over to here and then you, you okay. don't have to move him you can just shoot him from there he, he is he is archer so yeah that's when on Alec's turn that's that that's a sure kill because she still has a, an exertion of one and now, well, even in not moving, look, eight damage. He's done. Hurt this man. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Eagle eye. Oh, no. And okay, good. When they move, it only shows that how much damage that they're, they're going to do, but they also have their own pool of wood. i got to move here. Mm -hmm. I can't really attack him. No. Now, the interesting thing that you can do with him, and I, I've only done it once, which is kind of silly, is you can battering ram your own guys. Sure, it reduces their shield, I mean their armor, but it also will, if they pass through an enemy, they take armor damage, and it force moves them. Which, I, 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 I realized it late. If you, you could have knocked... Um, uh, Egil threw a let and the dredge mm. to put him on the other side. But well, it's done, it's done. If you move her out of the way, Gil can get to that dredge. You'll have to move. Uh, yes. And the white one also moves next, so I don't think he'll move at all. So put some break on that man. Yeah. Ow. Let no Gil. Not my girlfriend. One exertion. <laughs> Ivor. Oh no. Um, I would get him out of the way so Ivor can move up and hit the other guys. Yeah, I can put him there. I think only a little hit, but it's fine. It's still multiple forms of damage. Oh, multiple damage. Yeah, nice. ranged. 
Well, I, I didn't know. I didn't think uh, Oddleaf was in range. I'm gonna get away now. Run! Uh, she won't get that kill, but it'll end up get, letting him get that kill. Uh, Ivor goes next. Well, Ivor. So if you. Who... I would at least do uh, armor damage if you're not going to do that one point of strength. That's my guarantee I would get to go. Ow. That's just armor. What'd she do to you? I almost want to move him right here. Let's move him right here. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Bash is going. Hurt, it, hurt this man. <laughs> Slow motion! Alright, now oh, it's gotta move a space to get anything done. <coughs> but at this point, you know, it's, it's just semantics. How do you want to hurt this man? I don't know why I didn't do the exert, but oh. You'll we'll get used to spending it. It's very important. And I don't know who needs more kill. So I, I think Alette probably needs one more kill for promotion. Uh, Alette needs, yeah, it's a two. Okay. So. That, that will do nothing. He will wait. Exertion, though. I remember I looked at her when we were right before the fight, and I was like, oh yeah, she's only a two at the moment for our promotion. Well, that two is the max. She, I yeah. think she had zero before. Yeah, she had zero. She got one, and then... And a second one. So now she can promotion. We hope. So, all right, we're going to continue. Okay, so... I, I missed what all popped up. Morale improved. That's important. Yeah. Uh, and your supplies may have popped also, or they will here in a second. Uh, the, the fighters saw that you did a good, put the supplies in the cart, and get the fuck out. Oddleaf is carrying the chieftain on her shoulder. Oh. He is wounded. There is nothing you can do to not have the chieftain be wounded. Fifteen renown, yay! Extra points. Now you have a new icon next to your your medal, and that is to camp. You can go into camp freely at any time, and it won't cost you anything. Uh, that's where you can just stop, you know, pop your, you, you do your thing. So this is a minor decision, but it will have effects. Uh, since I don't think you care about getting to the end of the game in the fastest way possible, the first any option is valid, but some options are better. Um, slow the pace, everyone can get so everyone can catch up. Okay. Some people whine. Oh. The superior choice was to rally. Ah. Give, give a speech. Ah, yes, a godstone. As you zoom in, you can see all of your folks. Yes, I know. I mean, the, yeah. But do you have to be? A, do we have to be giant cows? That's cute. The yachts are very important. The yachts. As we do not have horses. Oh, look, pitchforks. All they're missing now is a uh, fire. Yes, torches. It's not that cold. Torches. Mm -hmm. Far enough for the day, I think. Take a break. We got some problem or over. Looks like, uh, what do we do? We'll do whatever. Uh, we need a leader. That's you. Uh -huh. they, these are all the same. This changes nothing. It's just which, which dialogue is you. How am I supposed to do that? Fucking make it up as you go. Yeah. Pretty 
pretend you know what you're doing. That's how I roll. Thanks yeah. for the advice. Do whatever. Fucking just mm. let them fend for yourselves. You can live with that. Humans are dumb. You're mad when you can't control things. And you freaked out when you're in control. Put your shit together. You're right. I'm nursing a bunch of weaklings. You care. I know you do. Fucking men. That's why we get along so well. I agree with you. Fucking people. <laughs> people. So, here we are. At a godson. One of many. Hmm. It's kind of like checkpoints of life. There is little reason or zero reason to not always inspect the Gonzo before okay. you go. It gives lore and sometimes good shit happens. It tells you about the gods that are quote unquote dead. And and more, more often than not it improves morale. Oh look, a young girl has brought you a thing. Uh -huh. Whatever choice you made, you saved her mom. Aww. All that's having bad dreams. This is only the beginning. All right. You get an extra I, item. I get a rune. And yeah, yeah, and you've reached, you know, a point. A rune. All right. And now, you know, again, you can you can choose to click on your your camp icon that will just pause things. You can go to training and practice your tactics <laughs> with new characters, <coughs> which that's all it's for. Is just like, how does this character work? What is this new guy? And sometimes just dialogue pop, pop, pops up. That doesn't take up time. Uh, heroes, you can, you know, micromanage your boys. The new day. All right, so. Anybody with the plus I, can be promoted. I really want to promote her. Do it. That will cost you five. Do so. And you get two points to spend. She does shield breaking. Uh, I would go one of each. Break and exertion. That one? No, uh, one of each. Go back one on the break. And one of the green. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, one and one. Uh, Sorry, yeah, yeah, I was, you, I was like, oh, I didn't realize her, her max break was two. So now you can get up to four break outside okay. of her plus one already. All right. Uh, that will cost you 10. Gil is fine. She's promotion. Yeah, we definitely need to promote him. Yeah. He is your smash boy. So it hurts you uh, get one there and one is, when max out his exertion. Because yeah, that that's immediately plus two on anything he does. All right. Now, back up. You have one more item. Uh, that one. You have one more item. What what it do? Plus 15% chance strength. to dodge a strength attack. Anything that makes strength attack on you, 15% chance you'll be like, nope, didn't happen. I and won't give it to him. Yeah, because he is free. And he has front lines. Yeah. Uh, that's a 10, though. I really want to promote him right now. No, it can wait. Well. Do you want to talk to Gil before you end this? Yeah, let's talk to Gil. Let's talk to Gil. Egg Gil. Let's talk to Gil. Egg Gil. No. Let's talk to Gil. I'm fine. I got a good, sh I got a good shield, shield arm. Shield. Told you. Call him Gil. Okay, Gil. <laughs> hey, Gil. Like, yeah. Uh, so I, I meant that. I, I, I don't want anything bad to happen to Alette. All these are, you know... The last one will stop conversation. All the other ones are, you know, learn more about Gil. Oh, he's in love with her. That's correct. Oh. I, know, I, I, didn't. I didn't mean to imply. No, no. It, it's okay. I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to bang my daughter. But at least he's a good boy. Gil's a good boy. Never seen a shield like that. Oh, his father's a blacksmith. And that's solid metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
since I was a kid. Well, he's probably got a really nice bicep arm. He, he got that strong arm. He got that one strong arm. That swole arm. I try, he is the only one in this game that has that tanking ability of don't act, but sit there and minus three damage to anything you, that hits oh. you until your next turn. Ira says you're, you're pretty good. I'm, I, I, I'm trying. I'm putting in work. Putting in work. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's, that's the end it. of the dialogue. That's yeah. it. It's I like, will. talk to Gil. Learn about Gil. And you, you, See, for most characters that join you, you'll get a stab a, a Gil in the like throat that. before he before he uh, takes takes my daughter. All right, good. <laughs> All right, so um, I think this will be it for today. Okay, that was this, actually yeah. really really informational. This this will See? auto save since you just hit that uh, that uh, that Godstone. It'll auto save at the Godstone. Okay, cool. So. I, again, I'm really impressed on how they did this did this game. It's actually really, really kind of gotten interesting. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what I was really expecting, but other than like Oregon trails with Vikings. Yeah. But when this I is, said that, uh, it's like it's like I like Oregon Trail. Trails, okay. Yeah. But they 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 did a really good time. Uh, they, they, it's actually really kind of pulling me in, even though I'm, it seems like I'm kind of clicking through a lot of the dialogue. You're you're reading it. I can I'm, re I'm, reading. I'm reading it, and and I, I want to read it because there's like, there's definitely something going on with these drag, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm really interested to find out what, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. especially now, and and the fact that there's godstones and you know the gods are dead, quote unquote, mm -hmm. that may be something be a part of that, but that's my personal yeah I, thoughts I, on the whole it, thing. It's, it's like, hard for me to keep my mouth. Shut. No, no, do do. And I, I will. I will do my best. I, I will only tell you your immediate consequences or the long term consequences. Like, hey, do you like Gil? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. I, I should have killed him off before you had to think for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Years but, ago. <laughs> all right. Well, well, we'll definitely be back in this uh, sometime soon. Uh, Seek Seek Zion. Zion.